아까 전에 어. 12시 그리고 아, 3시 나왔는데 어떻게 나올 것인지 한번 자, 보도록 하겠습니다. All right. So, we're getting into game number 6. It is going to be Sulky versus his opponent down on the, the other side of the map. It's going to be that other guy whose name I totally forgot. Oh, it's Snow. Snow. <laughs> All right, so uh, just finishing up the story. So I played a lot of Warcraft 3 in middle school and high school. Uh, never got really very good at it. I couldn't really break level 20, which uh, is like, that's like a solid, like, C level if uh, we're doing like IC Cup levels. Like the best players were like level um, 35 plus, like up to 40 or so. so I, was, I was definitely not anywhere near good at that game. But I enjoyed playing it. I played a lot of it during my time um, and then I ended up playing uh, Starcraft 2 when it came out I actually bought a new computer just so I could play Starcraft 2 and at that point I was I, I had had it in my brain that you know Starcraft 2 since it was the newer game it must have been the better game like it was uh, probably better than Brew War so I missed out on the Brew War train unfortunately but now that I'm coming back to this game I love it so much this game is by far the, the best game that I've ever played I love it but as expected, we are going to be seeing the uh, the gateway coming out. Repeat of last game, uh, or repeat of the game before we restarted it. I forgot this was a restart at first. That's why I was confused about the players. <laughs> um, but yeah, rip, no restart from replay. We don't quite have that yet. Uh, but we are going to see the same opening from both players. Uh, both players, I guess, uh, either deciding that this is still the most optimal build they can do against their opponent, um, or just a gentleman's agreement to start with the same opening, not do anything uh, different, so that um, so that they can like mind game their opponent. We'll see. But either way, uh, it looks like Soki was not as successful getting down uh, the expansion this time around. And God, I hate the zoom so much. I don't. I don't really like this. <laughs> um, but we'll be fine. It's fine. It'll work out. All things considered. And uh, so, uh, same stuff coming out from both players. Only two lings uh, and just the drones to defend against that initial uh, pro press. Meanwhile, very good scout from Sulky. He's going to know when the first uh, Zelt's coming out of the cross the map. And luckily for him, he's going to have a few more Zerglings this time around. Last time he only had two Lings um, by the time that the Zelt got there. This time he's going to have up to six uh, to eight. So very nicely done. Oh, and he's actually going to do the Sunken Contain. This is actually really cool to see. So he's actually going to build the early Sunken. Um, and it just allows him to keep his opponent pinned back for a little bit longer. Uh, and definitely helps to uh, to do this. This way he doesn't have to do it as natural um, and try to do some kind of crazy micro tricks. He can just uh, kind of contain his opponent over here. So really cool play coming out from Sulky. Very creative um, stuff. Instead of going for the triple hatch, he's actually just going to go for the aggressive uh, contain here with the one sunken. This is really cool to see. Eventually, uh, Snow will be able to break out of this, but it's very annoying to play against um, because suddenly now you you invested so heavily into this double gate zealot, and they can't really do anything if they try to uh, to run past that sunken. They're going to take quite a bit of damage. And but on the same on the same front, uh, Sulky definitely did sacrifice a lot of economy to do that. He uh, definitely he lost a drone there. Oh my gosh, that, if that probe survives 1 HP, that's the worst. Um, but he invested really heavily into this, uh, got a lot of lings, uh, lost the drone, making that sunken, and didn't get a third hatch. So all things considered, the, the economy isn't really uh, that great for Sulky. He has contained his opponent and neutered this pressure, but at a great cost of economy himself. So maybe it's not that great. We'll have to see. It depends on how quickly Snow can get his economy up. If he can get the Corsairs up pretty quickly, then it won't really matter that uh, Sulky invested very heavily into containing him because uh, he'll have enough to do with it. But actually, I think we might uh, see either early Hydra Bust uh, to break up the ramp with these few 
zealots, or he might actually try uh, something clever like fast lurkers to follow up. We'll see. Uh, either way, uh, just continuing to be really annoying, and he's going to push forward slowly with uh, the Sunkins. We, I think Sunkins going to commit. This is going to be a, a an all-in. This is super, super weird. Uh, and this is one of those things that maybe uh, when we first made the map, when Jungle Terrain made the map, he uh, he thought this would be a really good idea to have uh, this sort of natural creep area. But uh, as we've seen, it's actually been very abusive. I believe uh, we also saw something similar coming out from uh, Sulky. I believe it was Sulky um, in a ZBT. So there's lots of interesting and cool stuff you can do with this. And honestly, it's starting to look unfair. One cannon on the high ground is going to be able to uh, prevent this from leapfrogging forward too much, uh, but just the the sheer number of units here that it requires just to hold the ramp is is really annoying. This uh, this dragoon can't even focus down this sunken that's going down, and this is going to be very awful for Snow in the very near future. He's trying to hold off the best that he can, but all this investment into cannons is uh, severely delaying his tech and. The Corsair attack honestly isn't going to do anything versus this particular style of play. The uh, the final second finishes, and he's going to start poking down these Zealots. Once these Zealots start to go down, uh, it's going to be much easier to break up this ramp and uh, kill them off. But uh, maybe uh, Snow held up long enough to get these cannons. This is honestly such a weird position. I don't know what's good and what's bad here. Um, if uh, if Snow's held or if this is uh, going to continue to kill him. But looks so good good for him so far. Uh, a small break up the ramp uh, attempt there, but it's not going to happen. And there's no drones at all in Sulky's natural domain. Uh, this is honestly looking pretty terrible for him. And the first Corsair is out. That's actually going to push away this Overlord that's trying to get high ground vision. And once he pushes away this Overlord, this uh, pressure is completely dead in the water. It's not going to do anything more. This is... Uh, it's such an unusual position. It's hard to really explain where we're at but even reverse coming out right now so uh overall i think snow is held i think he's actually quite ahead at this point he's going to be doing very well going into the future he can saturate both his bases and even though sulky's trying to catch up on economy and uh go for that third base he's he's very severely behind he's gonna have to spend a lot of his resources on building up that drone count before he actually goes into the attack he's not going to be able to uh just blast out units or even go for all the upgrades that he would like at this point in time normally this is when you want to get like you know uh your overlord speed you want to get your hydra upgrades uh start working on plus one carapace etc but he's got to focus on just making a lot of drones at this point and uh maybe even getting that second gas up meanwhile so in a great position he's getting his tech up uh he survived right now he's got two bases fully saturated and um as soon as he gets the right units in the right position he's going to be able to break out of here very easily but I think Silky's going to try to follow up with Lurkers, but I think by the time that he actually gets Lurkers up there and uh, sets up the contain, Snow's going to have enough to break out, so it's not going to be that useful. Um, a couple of Hydras in the way, they're going to be able to push back those uh, pesky Corsairs for now. That's going to be nice. And Silky committing even more to Sunkins. He really wants to make sure his opponent can break out anytime soon. Snow says, I have the high ground. Very, very nicely played there, Crimson. Beautiful. Sorry, I needed some water there, and uh, we're going to have, uh, actually, Snow killing off one of his cannons to make sure that he has enough room to get his uh, reaver down the ramp. Funny, a uh, small ling run by there does not work, and eventually this is going to get start, start getting poked down by this reaver. It does cost some minerals early on, but uh, it's definitely the most cost-efficient way to break this sort of container early on, going for the reavers. So, Lair is up now. I'm sure that Lurker tech is morphing right now. And as long as uh, Snow can actually break out of and kill out um, all of these sunken colonies before Lurker tech gets up, he's going to have an easy time breaking out later on. And these... Um, Sorry, these Corsair is doing a really good job of just being pesky and annoying, killing off uh, free overlords back at the base, forcing some units to be sent back. 
And Snow doing a really good job in this game. I think he's in a position to definitely pull ahead in the next couple of minutes, uh, depending on what happens. But he needs to be careful. He needs to be really careful of uh, how he's moving his units. Very good shuttle micro, pulling it back right at the last second before he gets in range of all those units. And uh, he has broken the contain now. He can actually uh, start to move down onto that low ground and start to take an advantage. But uh, looks like he's just going to be going very heavily into the gateway units plus the reaver. He uh, feels confident that with a gateway heavy unit plus reavers, uh, even without archons, without high templar, he can break anything Zerg might have. And that's true because Sulky still doesn't have a lot of units out right now. Uh, it's pretty trivial to add on an observatory, get an observer and push out across the map right now. Uh, lurkers will not hold for very long. But actually there aren't... Uh, so being a little bit late on the observatory, he's just going to try to gun through here anyway. Uh, and with nothing to kill the lurkers, this is a bit risky, but he's just going to try to go in here anyway and just uh, tank the splash damage. Maybe not. Maybe pulling back, uh, realizing maybe I should just get an observer. This is a little bit too crazy here. Uh, good hits on the, uh, the reavers so far. And so he's starting to stabilize. I want to say that Sulky's 100% dead because that's usually uh, the keyword for Sulky winning the game. But who knows? Uh, but no lurkers over here to defend the third. And this third is going to go down um, or at least take a lot of damage from these elves. Meanwhile, the beautiful play going with the Corsair Reaver into the main to get some economic damage. And tons of uh, Hydras going down, tons of workers going down. There's the GG from Sulky Snow doing a really great job playing that out.